Hey everybody, thought I'd uh, just do a quick video down here near the pond. Um, having a 360 camera has just sort of opened up the uh, possibilities of making videos a little more interesting because you don't actually have to stare at me <laughs> the whole time uh, I'm doing a video. Uh, and just wanting to talk about stuff. One of the things I want to talk about today, I've been pretty busy um, working on a few horses here on feet. And as I sort of progress into more and more in-depth topics um, and get into more details, uh, more people have been sort of saying that they wish they could trim their own horse's feet. Uh, they'd like to be able to recognize more things that are that are going on. Um, today I'm, just so you know, this is going to be a separate video, but uh, Gracie's up there in this paddock, this fourth paddock here. Char's next over, then Roni and Luke. And I don't know if you can see, but Lena's back there and Peggy. But um, be working on her feet because it's about that time. But a lot of people sort of talk about they'd like to, you know, recognize what is going on, good or bad, with their feet. And, and that empowerment, that knowledge, allows them to then you know, look forward to the next farrier appointment and, and ask questions and say, hey, you know, I know a little bit. What about this idea? Um, and that's pretty much what these channels are about a lot on, on just becoming more sort of knowledgeable or educated in, in things and, and, and at least questioning, um, you know, what you know now, what you're being told, even through me. I don't mind that. Uh, not everything I say is going to be right or perfect or good for, for you know, everybody. Uh, but I've done a lot of research myself and I feel that I'm passing on good, solid information that's backed up, not just through opinion or stories, but through um, science, through facts, through things that are provable. Um, so along those lines, when, when people sort of get the idea that they can start, uh, it, it's not... You know, it's not beyond your abilities to sort of get a grasp on how the feet work. I remember when I first started a long time ago and I thought, ah, oh, this is way beyond me. And I was sure that I just, I needed somebody else to do it. And over a little bit of time, I started to realize that I could probably learn this. And, uh, you know, and over a period of time I did. But the point is here. And... Um, it's important, it's really important to, throughout all of these, these series of videos that I do, whether it's feet, riding, groundwork, um, watching horse behaviors, all kinds of things. <laughs> Gracie's, I haven't had anybody in this paddock for a little bit. I gotta work on it, I haven't yet. Um, so it's got a, a week or two without anybody in it and little tufts of grass are growing <laughs> everywhere so she's like a goat, she cleans up. Thanks Gracie. Perfect. Um, but, uh, you know, as I was kind of saying, with knowledge comes a little bit of power. Sometimes you can have enough power to get yourself in trouble, but you also might have enough power to say, hmm, I kind of don't know what I don't know, but now I know a little of something. I want to know more of what I didn't know. And that is another big point of this, where I'm going to introduce topics to you and observations that can be sort of seen or paid attention to and then from there you'll make your own decisions really and that's 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 the powerful part really where you get to make your own decision you get to kind of go huh I wonder and uh, and then go discover more there's lots of information out there to be found for hoof stuff uh, I will be continuing to put out more and more uh, as there are many different cases and there's a lot of times there's not a one-size-fits-all trim and that can be that can be the hard part, um, but the and it's a challenge. But it's a good challenge. It's something. If you have one horse, then it's easier, obviously, because um, you can sort of trim a particular way and get somewhere. But multiple horses, uh, you have to sort of assess each hoof, which is why I try to introduce Lena's feet, Shar's feet, Baby's feet. Uh, I think I've done Luke's feet a little bit. Macaroni's feet are coming up. I've got a whole series about him coming. Um, where, uh, I mean, his original story, 
Uh, he's had a couple of good injuries. Um, his feet needed a lot of work. They still need a bit of work. They've still got some problems that I want to talk about. But the bottom line is that it's not too much to handle. It's not, you know, if you put some time and you put some, some energy into it, you can do it. Yeah. You can get to where, at the very least, you can make the observations of whether or not something is right or wrong. And take action from there, whether it is to learn it yourself, trim yourself, or you say to your fairy or your trimmer, say, hey, I'm noticing this. And um, and there's many people who have who have talked to their fairies and the fairies like, ah, it's nothing or something. And they've changed their mind. They've they said, no, I'm gonna try somebody else maybe who has a little bit more knowledge in a particular area. And that's not a bad thing. It's like switching doctors. Sometimes you just do it. So, better health. And everybody, I've, I haven't seen one person that has said they just didn't feel a little bit better for going with their own instincts or thoughts. With any luck. Anyways, the point is, I just wanted to say, hopefully, this series of hoof videos that I do uh, gives you some ideas, some thoughts, some insight uh, that maybe you don't see elsewhere. Maybe you have uh, but a variety of horses, a variety of styles of trim variety of things to look at that have a common thing to go as a base from can give us a great idea of what we can do for the future for the health of our horses just make them a little better anyways the sun has shifted it's shining on my eyeballs right now anyways i hope you hopefully you've enjoyed this little environment it's really nice down here anyhow that's it thanks for watching and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one greasy's still mowing down the grass Thanks, Gracie.